So, you guys remember the gold iPhone 7 Plus, right? Well, I have a really stupid idea. You guys also probably remember the power bank video that I did not too long ago. So, my stupid idea is basically to install this battery into this custom gold iPhone 7 Plus. This battery is 8,000 milliamp hours and the one in the 7 Plus is 2,900. This might be one of the stupidest ideas ever, but we're gonna see what happens. Honestly, this probably won't be hard at all, but there's nowhere to really put this battery, so that's gonna be another issue. I more so wanna see if I can actually get this working, and if I can, then I'll find a way to put this safely. Also, sorry for not making long videos for a long time. Uh, my editor recently left, and I also just haven't really been in the mood. But I am now, so we're back. So we have to cut off this black wire. The red one's already off. So we're just gonna give this a snip snip. There we go. Uh, oh, uh, I forgot I did that. So this is the one I poked and almost died uh, opening up. So we're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use this one instead. This is also 8,000 milliamp hours and it's not poked. So we're gonna cut off the black wire and we're gonna cut off the red wire. So we have the battery removed. Now we have to remove the battery inside the actual phone. So we're just gonna open this up. There we go. Gonna have to unscrew a few things. We need to get this battery removed. I'm just gonna pry up on the battery. I didn't glue it down too hard, so shouldn't be hard at all. We still have the Apple logo mod behind here. So we have to be careful. Otherwise, we lose Apple logo mod, and I wouldn't want to do that. Remove the battery. So, we have to get the BMS board uh, off of this battery. So, we're just going to peel this down, and we want to reveal the BMS board. Ow, that hurt. There we go. We're just going to kind of rip this off here. Nice. So, we have our BMS board removed, and I just broke the board. Thankfully though, we have another one. This one's the one I used for the video with the sand. So what we have to do now is solder on the battery to the board. Gonna be a little bit awkward, but I think we can do it. So the wires are a little bit short. We'll probably extend them later. I just really wanna see if this will work. But what we have to do is we have to solder the wires to the board. This mat is also heat resistant, so you can solder on it, you can do whatever. Link for this is in the comments and the description. We're gonna preheat and just get some solder on. Hopefully the second one is just as easy because this battery is a little too wide for this. So I bought this weird thing off Amazon. It's supposed to be like a soldering helper and it might actually help me this time. There we go. I mean, that looks like a solid connection to me. So what we can do now is we can take our phone. This phone has seen some things. And we're gonna, we're gonna plug this in. Connect the battery. Like I was saying, I don't know how this is gonna fit. I just wanna see if this can work. Cause if it can, I'm gonna make the biggest battery ever. So we're gonna take our charger and we're gonna plug this in. We have Apple logo, maybe. No, well damn, so it's not getting any power from the battery at all. Okay, so first attempt didn't work. We're trying again. I already soldered it onto a new BMS board. Let's see if a uh, second attempt works. Hopefully it does. All right, let's grab the charger. So I did the same thing with the broken battery because for whatever reason, this guy doesn't want to work. So we're going to see if this one works. And we're going to put in our charger. So we just have the Apple logo running continuously, which means it doesn't even recognize that there's a battery plugged in. So it's quite possible that both of these batteries are messed up. I know this one is, but I'm not so sure about this one. So I'm not giving up yet. I'm gonna actually try and desolder the wire from the battery so that I don't have to solder the wire to the BMS board again. So we're just gonna desolder this wire here. So we got the third battery soldered on and we're trying it and the boot time is actually, something different is happening. So it's, it's booting right now and it's not turning off again. We're, what we're doing differently this time is we're using one sing, oh my God. We're using one single battery 
instead of the double battery that we had before. Holy crap. So it says it's 76% charged. Let's see if it's actually using the battery to stay on. Oh my God. Guys, what the hell? <laughs> There's no way. How many milliamp hours is this? Okay guys, so after about an hour and a half of messing around, check this out. The phone is running on this 10,000 milliamp hour battery that I pulled from a power bank. The things I can do with this. Just so you can tell, there's no other external sources of power. It's literally just the power bank attached to the iPhone's BMS board, which is attached to the actual iPhone. We basically added around four times the battery power of what a normal iPhone battery would have. This is pretty cool. I'm going to see what else I could do with this. Probably going to get longer wires, maybe drill a hole and attach it to the back. My goal is to make an iPhone with the longest battery life to ever exist. Also guys, I wanna apologize. This video is not gonna be the highest quality video I've ever done. Instead of focusing on quality too, too much, I'm just gonna keep posting and the quality will improve as I go. This is pretty cool. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'm excited to see what I'll be doing with this in the future. I hope you guys are too.